Summer is almost here, and that means a lot of folks will be heading to the beach. But there are some things you need to know before jumping into the ocean. Yeah, and when it's beach season, that means it's shark season as well, right? Our guest this morning is the co-owner of Shark Shield. We want to welcome her, Amanda Wilson, who has this piece of a technology that she's going to introduce us to. First of all, good to see you. This is Thank you. pretty, pretty cool. I mean, you think a lot of people go into this water with, uh, let's hope that they don't get close to a shark, but this is actually your way of maybe um, preventing that. Yes, yep, so Shark Shield has been around for about 12 years in Australia. Um, it's relatively new in the U.S. We've been selling it here for a while, but we've just opened up a U.S. office in the last 10 months. Ah. Um, so scuba divers, free divers, um, a lot, there's a lot of urchin divers in the area, kayak fishermen, so they use this product. Um, you can wear it on your ankle, you can attach it to a kayak. Um, we've got two electrodes in there, and it produces a three-dimensional field. Now, all sharks have something called an ampullae of Lorenzini. So when they're within proximity, like me to you away, they sense the electrical field produced by your twitching muscle fibers. So what we do is we overpower those sensors, and we induce spasms, and it keeps them 15 to 20 feet away from the wearer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, so anybody can put this on their ankle. If you're a surfer, if you're a bodyboarder, if you're in the water and you have this on, that sensor will deter the shark away from you? Correct. Yep. If you're a surfer, you can actually attach it to your board so you don't have to wear it on your ankle so it right. becomes a little bit less cumbersome than if you're a surfer. So when the shark is about a few meters away from this electrical field, then it kind of feels muscle spasms that kind of makes them want to not go in that field, correct? Correct. But that's not long term. So as soon as they leave that field, they're okay. It doesn't have any adverse or harmful effects that's on the shark? absolutely correct. There is no long term effect on the shark. So as soon as they leave, there's no effect to them at all. Wow. Is it bad? Battery operated? Uh, how, how does it work? Yep. You know, it, it is. is battery. Okay. So it has a lithium ion battery. It has seven hour run time, so you can be out on the water all day and be fully protected. Oh What's been gosh. your response so far? You've probably tried this out and people have tested it out. What have, what yeah, has been the response? Yeah, we've sold 25,000 units over the last 12 years. Oh. Um, and there's been a huge amount of independent, so not funded by Shark Shield, uh, testing that's been done either in South Africa and Australia. Who's finding it to be most useful as the people that you've been the, testing The with? primary users of it are guys that are putting themselves in more harm's way. So if you're doing something like spear fishing, you're chumming up mm. the water, or if you're a commercial diver and you're in the water seven, eight hours a day, or kayak fishermen where you're, by fishing, you're attracting sharks. So Amanda, are you a surfer yourself? I know you, you told us that you spent some time in Australia and, yeah. and you live in Florida, so yeah. what's, what's your I'm experience in the water? I'm a diver. A diver, okay. I'm not a surfer, unfortunately. I've always wanted to do it, but... Uh, <laughs> It's a difficult sport to pick up. But still, if you're in the water diving, wouldn't you want one of these too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I don't go <laughs> yeah. in the water without it. Unless oh, really? we're just, you know, waiting. I think I'm going to wear it to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, we've had shark sightings yes, in our have. area up and down yeah. the coast. Yeah, so. we've just had urchin divers call in this week and said they have seen so many sightings. Actually, the, the California Association of Urchin Divers contacted us and they want all of their guys to be using it. So. Wow. I can see that. I mean, I, I honestly, whatever that can help, uh -huh. I think would be useful, right? Um, what is this made out of? I mean, is it pretty comfortable if people wear it around yeah, their Yeah, once you're actually body? in the water you don't feel it so even though it weighs just over a pound and a half on land mm -hmm. the buoyant weight is only three ounces okay and it just trails right behind you in the water even if you're a free diver and you're duck diving down going to depth um, trying to hunt fish yeah. right. you won't notice it's there at all how much do they run for it's six hundred and forty nine dollars okay. okay and what's the life expectancy of them you know we have guys that are using the previous generation of this product um, and that's 12 years old they've been using it ah. but depending wow. on how much you use it it's you know five to six years before you need to replace the battery I think this is a, also a testament to a lot of people saying hey this might be the safest way to kind of do things to prevent those encounters with sharks than have to you know use lethal lethal injections or kind of something that may harm the shark, so I think exactly. that was kind of one of the motivations for it. It was, correct? yeah. I mean, there was a way to perfect, because the technology for preventing shark attack is either a drum line or a shark net, but that doesn't right. protect surfers or scuba divers. Um, and if you look at things that happened in Western Australia, when they had five attacks over a 12-month period, it was, we've got to put drum lines in, and then you're affecting a lot of undersized sharks as well, so. Yeah. Good point. All right, Amanda, thank, you, so thank much. you very much. Shark Shield, go check yeah. it out. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.